One of my absolute favorite rudiments to, um, to use to work on my hands is the five stroke roll. I love the five stroke roll. I like to apply stuff on the kit with it. Um, but I really like to work out my hands, especially when I'm sitting in front of the TV using the five stroke roll. So I'm gonna give you guys three killer hand exercises that you can do. Three different variations of the five stroke roll. They're super simple because you guys know I love to keep it simple. You know what I mean? Fancy doesn't always mean effective. Sometimes simple is the best way to go. So yeah, man, I'm gonna give you three different really cool exercises that you can do with the five stroke roll that will develop serious control in your hands. So we're gonna start with a good practice pad that you have in front of you, your favorite pair of sticks. Now you can use the sticks that you normally use or you know, if you're a little more experienced, you wanna start out with heavier sticks. You can do that too, there's nothing real wrong with that. I suggest that you learn the form first before you switch to heavier sticks. Make sure you get the form down first because um, your muscles are gonna start to develop, you just don't want them to develop the wrong way, right? So, grab a pair of sticks and we're gonna start by playing just a regular triplet, which is just like this. One, I'll start slow. One, two, three, so just like that. One, two, three, four. We're accenting the one, the two, the three, and the four. And all of the other strokes we're gonna play down here. Okay, so accents from the elbow. And you can see, you can see how small my other accent strokes are off the pad. So there's a, there's a huge sort of dynamic kind of contrast between the two. Soft strokes, accents, just like that. Alright, so what we're going to do is flip-flop. We're going to flip-flop between doing this and the five-stroke roll. So the first one I'm going to show you is the, um, the first five-stroke that we're going to use is the one where we accent the first stroke and we're going to follow it with the diddle. So that slow looks like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, So that take a take a 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 that. So the diddle we're gonna be playing down here, nice and soft. All right. So once again, like that. Two, three, four. All right, so that's the first exercise is we're gonna flip flop between the two. So one, two, three, four, five stroke, two, three, four, triplet, two, three, four, five stroke, two, three, four, just like that. One, two, three, four. All right, just focus on making them as clean as possible. Start out slow. Once you get it down, you can slowly and gradually work your speed up. Um, when you do work your speed up, make sure that when you're playing it at faster tempos, it sounds just as clean. One, two, one, two, three, four.
second variation of this exercise that I'm going to show you is the same thing, but we're going to flip the five stroke. So this time, instead of accenting the first note of the five, we're going to accent the last stroke of the five. So it's like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right? So this one is a little bit harder to execute, um, and it's just because of the placement of the diddle. So you just have to watch your strokes. But same thing, flip-flop, back and forth. One, two, one, two, three, four. Now the third one, third one might be my favorite of the three. And <clears throat> what we're going to be doing here is flip-flopping between both of the five strokes. So the first one, we accent the, um, the first note of the five, and then the second one, we accent the last stroke. And so we're just kind of putting them together and looping it kind of thing. So there's a whole lot of diddling going on here. Um, this particular one, there's no need to do it for long stretches at a time. Just make sure you stay comfortable, all right? Clarity is the goal, not necessarily speed. Um, so, yeah, just make sure you stay relaxed, stay nice and comfortable. Keep a nice, loose grip so there's no tension in your palms or anything like that. Um, and, yeah, just, uh, again, start out slow. Make sure you get the form down and then work your speed up. This, like I said, any, doing any of these three exercises develops tremendous control on the snare drum. And, um, and it opens up a ton of possibilities for orchestration once you start doing it, especially on the snare. There's a lot of cool things that you can do on the snare with the, uh, the five-stroke roll. And yeah, man, this is one of my favorite things to do while I'm sitting on the couch. And I just wanted to show it to you because I think you would love it once you get used to it. So have fun with that, man. It's Friday. I don't know what you're doing this weekend, but if you got plans to watch a little bit of TV, pull out that pad, you know what I mean? Throw a towel over top and get to work. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you dug it, take it, share it, show it to a friend. You know what I mean? Let them know what you're doing to work your hands out. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Give us a like, give us a subscribe, click on that link below to see how you can support this channel on Patreon. We'll see you in the next video.